And just like that, the Baltimore Ravens have officially started their 2024 season because this is, I believe, their very first signing, right? This is the first guy that they are bringing in, or in this case, bringing back, that being Nelson Aguilar. Big news out of Baltimore, buddy! The Ravens have signed Nelson Aguilar to a one-year contract extension. Nelson Aguilar, among with a few others, um, it was Nelson Aguilar, Gus Edwards, Kevin Zeitler, and there's a couple other people whose contracts, they have these specially designed contracts that are set to expire tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And if they had not been re-signed, uh, extended, whatever you want to call it, then they would be free agents. Uh, so Nelson Aguilar avoids being a free agent because now he's back with the Baltimore Ravens. And I know there's not many things that all Baltimore Ravens fans agree on. And I'm, I know this is not going to be one of them, but I'm pretty sure that the majority of Ravens fans can all agree. The majority, not everybody, but the majority can all agree that this is a good move for the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm going to talk about why in just a little bit before we get into it. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn your notifications on. Team, keep it clean. We are at 73,572 subscribers, so we are 428 away from 74,000. So getting closer and closer to it, but and we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Ain't no rush. But make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, because it's, it's going to start getting busy. As y'all know, I mean, stuff is always busy, but... Now with the new league year right around the corner, Ravens got some moves to make. There could be some moves possibly tomorrow as well. We'll see. But so you can stay up to date with everything. Subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. And y'all help out just by being here, just by coming through, just by showing support. So I appreciate y'all. Now, somebody else who we appreciate is Nelson Aguilar. When you think about Nelson Aguilar, I remember last year, last year when we first signed Nelson Aguilar because he, I think, he was the first signing for the Baltimore Ravens last offseason, too. So Nelson Aguilar said, it's so nice. I'm going to do it twice. But Nelson Aguilar, um, when, when the Ravens first signed him last year, I remember thinking, like, ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. This is okay. All right. Is that? Is this going to be it? Is it just going to be Nelly? No, no. Well, I ain't call him Nelly yet. I ain't call him Nelly back then. Cause they ain't call him Nelly. He ain't had no nickname from the Ravens back then. So it wasn't no Nelly. It was Nelson. Nelson Aguilar uh, But I was thinking oh, is, is this going to be it A lot of us were thinking Is this going to be it Because that's normally How the Ravens would operate um, But He wasn't it But he proved to be Worth it Now when you look at his numbers You look at the 35 catches 381 yards Average 10.9 yards A catch Had four touchdowns You'd look at that And like mm, Okay that, that production Can easily be Replaced You could find that Somewhere else But with Nelson Aguilar, it goes beyond that because you got to have you got to put that into context. Nelson Aguilar was not the number one receiver, was not the number one target. He was not the number two receiver, was not the number two target. It was not the number three receiver, was not the number three target. Nelson Aguilar was like, let's say like three, four. Because you had, as far as targets and receivers, just mix it all in there. You got Zay Flowers. You had Mark Andrews for a little bit. Uh, you had Isaiah Likely in the, at the second half of the season. He's just going crazy with it. Uh, Bateman was in there a bit. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., when he would be healthy, he will be in there a bit. But um, Nelson Aguilar was behind a lot of people. But when he did get his opportunities, for the most part, uh, he did his thing. Uh, he was somebody, for the most part, who um, he made the catches, he made the plays. And he's just somebody that is extremely unselfish. You would think somebody that first round draft pick, first round draft pick, Zay first round pick, Odell first round pick, Bateman first round pick, Nelly a first round pick, all these first round picks we had at the receiver position. But you could easily think that a first round pick that they would be selfish because, I mean, hey, I was drafted in the first round. I belong here. I deserve this. And they do, of course. But you could think that that attitude would be displayed on the field, and especially at the wide receiver position because their job is to catch passes. Like, why wouldn't it be displayed? It's not necessarily a bad thing that they – it's not a bad thing at all that they want the ball. But with Nelson Aguilar, you never heard – I was saying hear and heard at the same time. But you never heard or hear of him complaining at all. You never hear of him being a bad teammate. You never see him grumpy on the sidelines, anything like that. You, you, you would never see anything like that from a Nelson Aguilar. And one of my favorite moments from this season with Nelson Aguilar, it came uh, in the game against the Rams. 
Uh, they play in the Rams, and that game, of course, was <clears throat> it was insane. But <clears throat> Baltimore Ravens, they needed a touchdown to get back in the game. Very end of the game. Very end of regulation, I mean. Needed a touchdown. And Nelson Aguilar, he saw, talked to Lamar. He saw a play while it was happening because, I mean, he's out there on the field. Uh, and he came back to Lamar. He's like, look, I'm going to run this route. And I'm it, now, you know, receivers, they like, hey, I'm open every play. Give me the ball. Feed me. But he told Lamar, like, look, I'm going to run this route and I'm going to clear out the safety. So that'll open it up for Zay Flowers. And they did just that. They executed it to perfection. Touchdown. And that that game was just amazing. Y'all already know. But um, stuff like that. And I'm sure there was more stuff like that that happened that we don't know about. Um, but stuff like that, it stands out to me a lot because it just shows unselfish play. It shows that Nelson Aguilar is like, look, I, I want my catches. I want my passes, of course, because any receiver would, but I want to win. I do. I want to do what's best for the team. Um, but then when his number is called, he still will make some stuff happen as well. So this is a, a real nice move for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I have seen a lot of discourse from Ravens fans. And I've seen a lot of Ravens fans saying that they feel like this means that Odell Beckham Jr. is out of there. And I disagree to an extent. I, I, and I'm going to explain that. What I mean when I say that is that I do think Odell Beckham Jr. could be out of there, but not because of this. This move, this extension with Nelson Aguilar, this is not going to break the bank. This is not going to demand so much money from the Baltimore Ravens and so much cap from the Baltimore Ravens that they just can't do anything else, even at the wide receiver position. No, Nelson Aguilar is a solid receiver. He could come in and contribute. He can come do his thing. He can help out here and there in some different ways. But Nelson Aguilar, this signing is not going to stop you from doing anything. Now, it's, it's a lot of pending stuff right now with the Baltimore Ravens and the receiver position because got to figure out the whole thing with Zay Flowers we'll see what happens with that still waiting on more news with that and I'm sure in the coming weeks we'll continue to hear more and more so we'll see Devin DuVernay believe he is getting ready to be a free agent see what happens with that Rashad Bateman while he's under contract for at least another year Ravens got to make the decision if they're going to pick up his fifth year option or not so we'll see what happens with that and then of course with Odell Beckham Jr. they um yeah we'll see what, what goes down with him whether they decide because they did sign him to that contract they redid his contract that's what it was they reworked his contract so uh they will either sign him to an extension or they will cut him and then just split up the dead money however um but yeah so Ravens got some different question marks at the wide receiver position right now um, but this is the answer to one of those questions with Nelson Aguilar. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We, we, we will see because there's a lot that right now we just really don't know about. But assuming that going into next year, it will be Zay Flowers. It will be Rashad Bateman. It will be Nelson Aguilar. And it will be Tylen Wallace. Um, at the top, that, that's a, uh, I feel like it's a top heavy. Uh, receiver unit uh, but they could still use a little more a little more um just like one more guy and of course you still got Isaiah Likely you still got Mark Andrews you, you can't forget about those guys but they could still use just a, a bit more it ain't gotta be nothing crazy I mean if they want to do something crazy no problem Baltimore Ravens you know we don't mind but they could use a, a, a bit more but um yeah man this is a a, a good move for the Baltimore Ravens because Nelson Aguilar, he brings consistency. I know a big thing with a lot of people, oh, the drops, the drops, the drops. He's known for the drops. And, yeah, he was known for the drops. And he did have some drops with the Baltimore Ravens. He certainly did. But not that this excuses or anything, but every single receiver that the Baltimore Ravens got had drops. All of them. They all did. Zay Flowers, he had plenty of drops, but he he got the most opportunities out of all of them. He was touching that ball all the time. Um, Odell Beckham Jr., well, he had a few. I think he had maybe one, actually. Yeah, I think he only had one. He didn't really drop the ball. I mean, he didn't really make that many catches because he wasn't really healthy all year. But And, and then you, you, you think about that, just to speak about Odell Beckham Jr. real quick, because, again, I know a lot of people are saying that they think that this means that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be gone. I just... 
to, to me, I don't see the correlation. Even if they didn't re-sign Nelson Aguilar, whether they did or they didn't, I just don't think it has anything to do with Odell Beckham Jr. I think if Odell Beckham Jr. is going to stay, he's going to say, if he's going to go, he's going to go. And I think that's regardless of whether Nelly was here or not. Um, I would lean more towards them probably letting him go. It, it, oh, it's so tough, though, man, because with Odell, like, money-wise, that money would have to come way down. Like, ooh, <laughs> woo! 15 mil for, woo, love Odell, love the vibes, love the dances and all that. He did the park I said, okay, shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. But 15 mil base for, I I, I just don't think the, the salary matched. And I know leadership, and I, and I get that. I really do. Um, but, and, and he has some moments, but. With Odell, he was just hurt, man. He, he was hurt. and But my concern, though, with Odell, cause I really like Odell Beckham Jr., but my concern with him moving forward, my concern was, it was the same concern it was last year, too, but my concern moving forward would be, all right, Odell Beckham Jr. was never healthy this season. He was never healthy. Is he ever going to be healthy? Because the reason to me that that's such a big concern is because from his rookie year, he missed a significant amount of time. Still broke all them records, but he missed a significant amount of time. And like I think like every just about every season he's been he's dealt with a he's dealt with injuries throughout the entirety of his professional career. He he has dealt with injuries the whole time. So as an older receiver now, as somebody who was literally hurt the entire year last year, he still came in and did his thing here and there. But as somebody who was hurt the entire year last year, what should we expect from him moving forward? So, but if the Baltimore Ravens are going to keep Odell Beckham Jr. All right, cool, but I, I think it would be wise for them to keep him at a much lower rate, a much lower price tag. Um, or if they're going to move on and be like, you know what, we're going to go in a different direction, I, I, I wouldn't be mad at that either. With Odell Beckham Jr., I'm like at a, at a weird point because, again, if they keep him, all right, cool, lower price tag. If they let him go, okay, I, I, I understand either decision that they make, either decision that they make because I know what he brings to the team, what he brings to the city, really. Um, so if, if Odell Beckham Jr. gonna stay, all right, cool. Uh, but I know you're definitely gonna want to get more production out of him than you got this year. Um, uh, and then not even just about the numbers, just really about just being out there too, because he missed like w when he would he would be in the game, he would make a catch, and then two minutes later, boom, he's gone for the rest of the game. You do it again, his next game. Oh, he made a play, he made a couple plays. Oh, boom, he's out for the rest of the game. We don't see him no more. So again, it just I don't know, man. So we'll see. But with Nelson Aguilar, good stuff. Good stuff. A receiver, he's healthy. He's healthy. He ain't had no health concerns or anything like that. Um, got some good speed. The hands are decent, too. So, uh, yeah, man. And he obviously got a connection with this team. And I guess he, he believed in them enough. He's like, hey, we, we got right there. Let me stay with this team to see if I can help them get over the hump.